Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing the first case I bought from my iPhone 11. This is a clear TPU case featuring this kickstand that you would pull out to allow you to view your phone on a surface, in landscape, or in portrait mode. But before I get into what I like and what I don't like about this case, let's take a look at what it comes with in terms of packaging. So it's very minimal packaging here, nothing too crazy going on. And the unboxing process is very simple. Pull the tab, open up the box, and out comes the case itself with a little bit of paperwork. So the important piece of paper here is about the stand. It tells you how to use it and how not to use the stand. You don't want to use it like a tent as shown there to um, put extra stress on the hinge. But anyways, here's the clear case itself. Now let's go ahead and put it on my iPhone 11 here. As with any soft shell case, it slides into place pretty easily. You just gotta push it down on all corners and then there you go. So initial impressions, I was pretty happy with it. The lip is present on the front to prevent your screen from directly touching any smooth surface that you choose to put your phone face down on. And it also doesn't hug the front of the screen so much that it would interfere with any kind of screen protector as I had later on applied a screen protector to uh, my phone. All the ports are very clearly cut out. You got your speakers as well as your charging port nice and exposed and your entire camera cut out your camera bump on the rear is also um, exposed but this case is thick enough to cover up the camera bump pretty much just enough so that it would not um, be scratched when you lie it down on a surface which is one of my concerns when I had um, initially got it because the protruding stand would cause the phone to sit at an angle and the other end would be where the cameras are located so I was concerned if the lenses of the camera would get scratched up if I place the phone on the back but that seems to not be the case there's also a cutout for the mute switch that you can easily access and all the buttons uh, covering the volume buttons as well as the sleep wake button are very tactile to make it still very easy to click. I have no problems with it. Built into the corners of the case are some air pockets to help absorb impact if you were to drop your phone on the corners. But overall, this case is really not meant for rugged design. People who buy this case are probably looking for uh, a nice clear case to display the beauty of the phone and of course that kickstand. And speaking of the kickstand, here's what you need to know about this kickstand. It's very sturdy, it's made out of metal. The hinge is friction based so that it will hold its place and become a little bit more difficult to open once it's close to the fully open position. And it closes upon metal so it won't directly touch your phone in any way and when you slam it shut, that force is being dissipated in that metal piece so it doesn't harm your phone whatsoever. However, one thing I think they could have improved for the kickstand is probably adding a little bit of rubber grips on particularly the edges of the stand of where it would touch the surface because I can see that getting scratched up over time. But you can see I'm using the two correct ways of placing your phone when using the stand either in landscape or in portrait mode. What you don't want to do is um, put it like this where you would apply essentially pressure against the hinge itself. But using it correctly in the portrait or landscape mode, I definitely do greatly appreciate the quality of this stand as opposed to some of those other slap on like ring stands. And something I didn't expect is actually the stand bump actually allows me to hold the phone a little bit easier. I am well aware that I have very small hands for such a big phone and having that little bump from the kickstand really helps me hold the phone a little bit better. But that kickstand bump isn't all good news, namely it makes it more difficult to wirelessly charge my phone. When I place it on my flat wireless charging pad, I sometimes have to fidget with it until I make sure that the phone is actually charging. But I think the deal breaker may be uh, if you use a wireless charging car phone mount like I do, no matter how I reorient it, I just couldn't get it to charge in this case um, in my car phone mount, which is a huge bummer because I normally charge my phone this way in my car. So personally for me, that was kind of the deal breaker for me. As much as I love the clear case factor, I love the high quality hinge, the fact that I can't wirelessly charge it in my car 
really got me looking elsewhere. So I'll be reviewing another case for my iPhone 11 shortly. If only there weren't any issues with wireless charging, otherwise I could even put up with the fact that this TPU case attracts fingerprints and lint like no other and the fact that TPU case is yellow over time, but I already knew that when I decided to buy this case. But anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next case that I'm going to review.